Hey, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. Your workout today is gonna to be an intense cardio hit. I'm using that format that many of you said that you love. So you take an exercise, we repeat it for three rounds at 30 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest, and then we move on to the next. So it kind of feels like a no repeat, and it also kind of feels like you're actually working hard in that specific exercise. No warm up per se, but I'll start the round nice and light so we can sort of ease into the cardio. All right, you ready to move daily? Let's do it. All right, I'm just gonna start with a boxer shuffle in my rest time until I need to take the actual rest. All right, starting with skipping right here. Let's go. Three rounds of your front skip with the boxer shuffle in between. Yeah, like when I'm first starting off, I don't need the break, not yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit it hard while I can, and then break as I fatigue a little bit more. Hopefully everyone's looking forward to a good cardio hit session today. I am, my muscles are sore from the week. All right, rest right here. Just gonna adjust my mat, keep going. Um, yeah, lots of hard strength workouts this week, so skip. I needed just this cardio fun. <laughs> lots of you asked what those blue handles are at the side of me. They're like, <laughs> I've got so many questions about those. They're just a typical push-up handle. I use them so my wrist stays locked in neutral instead of bent. Um, those ones specifically are available in Canada, but they don't ship outside of Canada. So you can Google Flamin Fitness Shuffle. Otherwise, I do have some push-up handles linked in my Amazon links below the video. They're just not those. All right, last one here, and uh, I quite like them. Okay, I'll stop talking. <laughs> well, not permanently, but you know what I'm saying. All right, our next exercise is gonna be a center jack side squat. Shuffle here. You're ready, center jack, turn side squat, jack low, jack. Here's your modification. Okay. here or rest if you need. Round two. Really drop it low on that squat. One, two, three, four, low, low. 
modify here. Okay. Get nice and low on this one, okay? Let's make those glutes feel like they're working. Shuffle if you want. We'll rest. Round two. One, two, three, four, low. seen that one yet but um, it was fun it was new for me so I had to throw it in here as well okay I'll teach you in a second okay so hands behind your head your low crunch low crisscross crunch crisscross okay Low crunch, low crisscross. Crunch, low crisscross. Modify here. Low tap, low crunch, low tap. Crisscross. Switch sides. Your stance is wide in a sumo squat here. We're gonna just rest again. The glutes feel that for sure. Okay, round three. Wide, low, crunch, Chris. Whoops, I keep crossing my elbow to knee. Sorry if that's messing you up. It's actually a side crunch. All right, shuffle it out. It's fun. Regular butt kicks. You're ready. Whew. Here we go. Shuffle. 
one more. Let's work. That's it. Sloshy coffee guts from this morning. Ugh. Too much while editing. Let's go, let's go. Sprinter. Hop is next. Thirty seconds on one leg, thirty on the other, and then on the final round, I'll call halfway. You're reaching back, step, hop, or knee up to modify. Reach that back leg straight back behind you. Try to touch the ground if you can. Legs going back. This can get confusing. Reach, step, hop. Break after this one. Feel free to keep going if you want. Take a break. You're gonna start with a knee twist in and out squat jump. So wide, knee, knee, in, out, or walk it in and out to modify. Knee, knee, in, out. Knee, knee, in, out. Good. Ah, 
Again, quad. Burner from here. Round two. Take it wide. And knee, knee. Not a bad knee. Next. Oh, one more round. Okay. Skater, one jumping lunge, ice skater, okay? You can modify with a reverse lunge and a side tap, okay? I'll show the mod first quickly. Okay, so you do an ice skater reverse. Ice skater, reverse. I'm gonna jump it out though. Ice skater, whoops, here. Ice skater, here. My inside leg goes forward, okay? Forward. You get that? So jump inside leg forward. Same with that side.
Jack skip is next. Punching hook is next. I'm gonna grab a sip right here. Hiya. Oh, so hook, hook, that's your mod. Stop it right in front of your eyes, okay? Boom, like that. German volume training for my members yesterday. Oh, 10 sets of 10 exercises. Ready? Sorry, 10 reps, two exercises, 10 rounds. So it's 100 of everything. And we did a shoulder circuit. Oh, this is killing my shoulders right now. Hard. Stop that chop right there. Boom. That's it. Break. Okay. One more of those. Ready? And. Little jumping curtsy lunge next. Those are work. Jumping curtsy, regular curtsy lunge to modify. Okay, just alternating here. Otherwise, let's jump it. Down, drop that back knee and drop. Your torso should be facing the front if you can. Watch your knee, but. Stay tall. Grab two.
more round. Drop that back. Should look like a lunge, not just a tap back. Front scissor punch next. Now modify here. Lips are dry. Oh. All right, one more round here, and then one more exercise. Ready? Here we go. Jacks, modify here. Otherwise, we're jacking that out. That's a tough one for me, anyway. Here we go. Get those hands out. Minute and a half left. You can do it. Anyone can do anything for a minute and a half. Work, work. Break. Heart rate is up there. Okay, doing well. Two more. 60 seconds in total. Work. Join me for a stretch afterwards if you can. Lengthen all these short muscles back out. Get that whack up there. Make that jack whack. No. <laughs> oh. Work. Four. Three. Two. One more. Okay. That is hard. Last one though. 30 seconds. Here we go. <clears throat> Can you believe that you're halfway there? 15 seconds. Go. Hands up. Work. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. And you and your intense cardio hit have moved daily. Phew. Okay. Can we just bring our heart rates down? Why do I have to sing everything? I don't know. Um, 
That was really good. I liked it. My watch says 310 burned, so happy with that. My heart rate was up there high sometimes though. Like I looked down and it was like 169. <laughs> like, okay. I'm not wearing a heart rate monitor, so it's not super accurate, but it's a good indicator. Typically speaking, let's hinge at the waist here. You know, you wanna, you don't want to get much higher than 85% of your max heart rate. There is a whole formula that you can enter your numbers into to see what your max heart rate should be. You can Google it, just put um, a max heart rate calculation with resting heart rate, okay? And then you enter your resting heart rate, so you gotta take that. And how you take that is, the minute you wake up out of bed without an alarm, let's come here, stretch up, um, you put your hands on your carotid artery there and you count for a full 60 seconds. Don't use a watch, don't multiply by six, you count for your full 60 seconds. And then, that's your resting heart rate. Now, you know, so those are, those are differences. A lot of people, have, depending on the size of your heart and your heart health and cardiovascular health, you could have higher, lower. Um, typically speaking, your heart rate begins to lower as you become more fit. So that's fantastic. So as, as your heart rate gets lower, you're, you're more fit. And then you can even challenge your heart rate a little bit more when you're doing your cardiovascular work. Um, but anyway, you can enter into the calculation and just see. I'm just going to do a quad stretch here. Uh, and then, yeah, when I'm doing hit intervals, I like to get somewhere to 85% of my max heart rate. So for me, that's typically between 150 and 155. So when I see 169, I'm like, oh, that might be a bit high. Um, but I've been doing this for 20 years, right? So switch legs. That's also a difference there. I'm not coming fresh off the couch and just having, having done intense exercise. Like people like us do things like this, right? We've moved daily for years and years and years and years. So, so in that regard, I feel good. I've talked to my doctor about that. Uh, we've agreed together that this is healthy and good work for me. So that's a good thing to do as well when we can go see our doctors again is to go and you know, get a full checkup, know your numbers, make sure that you're aware of all the things in your health. And if this is a good reminder for you to set those appointments, um, here's your reminder, right? Get your mammograms, get your prostate checked. I know girls don't have prostates, but guys watch this channel too, so <laughs> round up, up, round here. Girls don't have prostates, do they? <laughs> no, I don't know. I know. Forget it. Okay, I probably just sounded really stupid. Um, <laughs> let's go into a glute stretch. Oh, I should probably edit that out. Okay, sit down here. Anyway, point being, when you move daily in your wellness, you take care of all those little things that kind of niggle at the back of your brain that you know you should do, and you just do it. You just get it done because knowing is better than not knowing, and some of you might disagree with that, but when we have our head in the sand about our health, we can't improve our health then, right? We've got to take our head out, we've got to dust it off, we've got to figure out all those little micro steps that we need to do regularly that will help lead us down the road to better health. And if it's keeping all those small appointments and making sure that you do that, <coughs> then that's what you do. Put it in your calendar. All right, thanks for joining me. That was tremendously sweaty, but I really enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next workout. If you're looking for a good strength workout for tomorrow, that's what I would recommend. Go ahead and click or tap the screen right there. Remember, I've got on my organize my YouTube calendar, so if you're looking for a structured one month schedule, click or tap right there. See you guys.